Hey guys, I'm Sharon from Mommy Runs It. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm glad you're here. Uh, so I am recording today uh, in my garage, as you can see. Uh, this is usually my husband's territory. I don't come in here too much. Uh, I don't keep my stuff in here, um, but uh, it's got the best light in the house right now and the least amount of noise. So here we are. Um, so it's been quite a while since my last blog post. So let me just give you a quick recap of who I am and what I do here. So uh, in 2015, about two years ago, I was diagnosed with spondylolisthesis. And about six months after my diagnosis, I had a spinal fusion. Um, my fusion was in my lumbar spine, and I'm fused from L4 to S1. My fusion was in May of 2016, so I'm almost exactly 18 months uh, post-op. So uh, I use this YouTube channel here and my blog, Mommy Runs It, to talk about life after spinal fusion. A little bit of everything, fitness, health, uh, travel, family time, um, and how I live the best life that I can with a fused spine and um, the physical limitations that I do have because of it. So like I said, it's been a while since my last post, and I guess that's kind of a good thing because I really haven't had that much to post about. Um, and when you've had major surgery and uh, you've spent a lot of time recovering, having no news is good news. Um, so thankfully, I am doing really well, uh, knock on wood. Um, uh, my back is fused. I'm able to resume the majority of my activities, and I haven't had really any significant bouts of pain or even discomfort in maybe the last six to nine months, something like that. So it's it's been pretty great. Um, uh, and I'm counting my blessings and hoping that it sticks. So in my last video, which was a couple of months ago, I uh, talked about running my first 5K after my surgery. And it was mostly a, a race that I walked. I did it for fun. It was the bubble run. I did it with my daughter and some friends. And it was great. So um, before my surgery and my diagnosis, I was a runner. And it was something that I discovered uh, like in my mid-30s, later in life. But I really grew passionate about it. I loved it. I spent a lot of time doing it. Um, I ran two full marathons and about a dozen half marathons before I had to stop running. And the last time I really was able to run was in November of 2015. So we're going on two years now since I've been able to run. Um, so I will start with the bad news and then I'll get onto the good news because there's definitely good news. So the bad news is the question that everyone asked me is, can I run again? And the answer to that is no, still it's no, I'm not able to run. I've tried. And um, even small distances uh, seem to aggravate my back. They don't hurt exactly, but the impact makes my back cramp up um, in a way that I'm just not comfortable with, that I don't want to push. Um, I feel too good right now to push myself into anything that could potentially hurt me. I spent several months in a lot of pain back in the earlier stages of my recovery because I pushed myself too much. So I'm really okay right now with not being able to run and just sticking to other activities. So the bad news is no, I'm I'm not able to run yet. Is it in my future? I hope so. I don't know the answer to that question, but I sure hope that it will be. Okay, but on to the good news because there has been lots of good news. Um, the really neat thing about not being able to run is that it's pushed me to find other ways to stay active and stay fit. Of course, I walk a lot and I've been doing that since, um, you know, a couple months after my surgery, walking several miles a day. And I still do that. I love it. And I walk on the beach and it's my happy place. It brings me so much joy to be uh, out on the sand and walk and beach comb and uh, to listen to the water. I love it very much. Um, since my last video, I've gotten to try a number of new activities, things that I've never done before, uh, either because I was too busy running uh, I didn't have the interest in it. I, you know, it was really all about my one sport. I was just super focused on, on running. I've talked about rock climbing, which was really awesome and fun. So one of the new activities that I've gotten into with my family since surgery um, has been tubing in Florida's natural springs. And that is something that we all really love. Uh, it's very relaxing. We do a little bit of swimming. I mostly like to float. Um, 
Vic and uh, my daughter Sophia like to snorkel and swim uh, more than Amelia and I, but it's still a lot of fun for the whole family. Just before Hurricane Irma, Vic and I spent some time in the Virgin Islands, and that was just an amazing experience. And we did a lot there. And one of the things that I did that was on my bucket list that I've been wanting to try forever was stand up paddle boarding. I absolutely loved it. That was so fun. Um, it was a little scary for me. It was a risk to get up on the board. Um, I definitely fear falling more than I used to before surgery. So um, that was a big deal. And it was really fun. I tried a little bit of snorkeling like literally two or three minutes, but then I broke Vic's snorkel um, and then I lost his mask. Uh, so that was a done deal, no more. Another new experience for me recently was taking a bar method class. My friend Stacy is a regular there and she brought me to a class and I loved it. I grew up as a ballet dancer um, and I've taken classes as an adult and one of the things that I like best about ballet is the bar work. So this was just such a natural fit for me. It combined bar work, ballet, um, stretching, yoga, Pilates, just all of the things that I love. And it was a super amazing workout and I loved it and I can't wait to do it again. And I would have done it again, um, except for the night that I took the class, I did uh, I ruptured the tendon in my middle finger. It was a very tragic carpet cleaning accident. Um, don't ask. It was a totally stupid thing that I did, but I've got to wear this splint for eight weeks on my finger. So there will be no bar method because I can't grip a bar. There'll be no paddle boarding because I can't, um, hold on to a paddle, no rock climbing because it's a wall. But this is temporary. Um, those are all things that I've discovered that I really, really love. And I wouldn't have necessarily discovered them if I had just stayed in my old pattern of running and just running. Another question that I get asked a lot um, is some variation of, did you feel um, this particular symptom at this number of days or weeks or months? Um, and I do my best to remember and, uh, you know, I will continue to do my best to remember, you know, a lot of it is a little hazy because there were a lot of pain medications. I really, I slept a lot. Um, you know, and I think, uh, sort of like childbirth, um, the body allows us to forget some things, um, because we have to, it's the way it works with trauma, I think. Um, and having a spinal fusion or any type of major surgery can be traumatic. There's no denying that. Um, but anyway, I wrote a blog post detailing um, the first few days, weeks, and months of my recovery. I think I wrote up to about month seven. And I did my best to recall how I felt, what my symptoms were, kind of a general um, sense of my, um, my mood and my physical state. So I pulled in a lot of my Instagram posts, um, my blog posts and Facebook posts from that time, I racked my brain. And I think I did a pretty decent job of putting together a, a summary of what that experience was like for me step by step. And maybe you can use it as a reference. Every experience is completely different. I'm sure you know that, but maybe it'll help you at least feel less alone or less concerned, less worried um, if you know that you're experiencing some similar things um, to me. So uh, I am linking that down in the description here. And um, I hope you like it. Give me some feedback on it and tell me if your experience was different than mine. Because um, like I said, everyone is different. Um, you know, I didn't get back to exercising for weeks and weeks after surgery, for example. And I know that there are people who are out walking you know, a, a mile a day within the first week. So everybody's different, but um, I'm happy to share my experience with you. So uh, thank you for joining me um, today. If you have any questions or want to get in touch, um, leave a comment or send me an email at mommyrunsit at gmail.com. I always do my best to answer all of the messages and uh, your comments on the blog. It's all totally appreciated. Your support is amazing, and I hope that I can return the favor to you. So Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I will check back in with you soon. Bye. Thanks.